Welcome back to another episode of Irumakun. We're on season two finally, but this is not a 12 episode season. This is like a 24 episode season, so we're still so behind on season three and it's still airing. I promise I'll catch up. I'm gonna figure something out, but hey, let's enjoy the ride while it happens. Last episode, the ending. That's the most important thing. What's going on with Iruma? He's completely different. This is not the nice, kind, soft little boy that we knew for the entire season. We have a super edgy kid now. The effects of puberty or somehow a human existing in the netherworld for this long has affected him like this all of a sudden? There wasn't any hint or anything that would lead to us believe that he would turn like this. Unless it's a completely different person. I have no clue what's going on, but probably gonna find that out immediately, right? Let's start the new season. Silence! Never mind. And, and, say silence at the end. Upcoming end of the Terminus test. Probably like season, like, not a season finale, but like a final exam. Terms. If you failed. Come on, Kali, you're being more tsundere than usual. Oh, it's out. Are you hungry? We haven't seen him out in a long time. Wonder if he has a name. But I thought he would go in as long as he's like, you know... Uh... He's satisfied, like, we fed him this morning. What's up? Yeah, Grandpa fed you. I would assume that this ring has something to do... It can talk. It can talk, it can talk. So I would assume that he has something to do with Iruma's, like, new, different style, the edgy Iruma. What? What? <laughs> he just realized he can talk too? So he didn't know he could talk this entire time. And now it's like... Gaining intelligence? What? Let's talk. But I would imagine this is the reason why Iruma turns into that edgy guy in the season finale post credit scene. Elegance. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, that was that one time. No, that was just the one time we had to use Panderula. Come on. But I guess outputting that kind of magic immediately does put a lot of strain on him. What's your name? Is he gonna take an actual form? Dude. He, Iruma. He becomes the Iruma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. But the like the edgy looking Iruma is what he turns into. But where's the original Iruma then? Does he get put in the ring? Did we do like a little s swap? Uh, okay. It's just gonna be himself. It's the exact, you know, the guy that we saw in the post credit scene. Now we have a doppel. <laughs> that was so wrong. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Fuck, I got painted so hard. <laughs> Looks pretty dapper though. He looked clean. I really thought that he would turn into the, like the evil, the dark Iruma that we saw, but. Looks pretty cool. I mean, you look fine. Yeah, also, we need a name for him. Lil Iru. Lil Iru. Sounds like his rap name. What's your name? Glut. Probably an important name that references some kind of demon, right? Ali Cred. Hmm, I bet it's pretty important. What's up, Amiri? I mean, is she still looking at it? Is this Iruma? Could it be Iruma? She's still on this? Yo, this picture doesn't even have his, like, long hair. It's just Iruma. Like, look, it's wig is cut off. Yes! Just ask him! And how would this make Amiri feel? Maybe she's into it. Would she be disappointed that he's wearing all this frilly dress? I mean, this is for the sake of his friends. We have to do it. This is more like a recap from Amadis' perspective. No, it's... Yeah, sure. It's his twin sister, Irumi. Oh, no, 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 now! Here we go. This is where he turns. Uh... When is he gonna change into that evil person? Or let's, you know, the edgy Iruma. 
We're going down a slippery slope here. Careful, careful. This fashion show is gonna turn him into that edgy dude. For why though? This oh, it looks like Sabro now. Oh, it looks like Azaz now. Kind of underhanded comments. Imagine something you'd never ever wear, like the Irumi dress. We're just doing outfit swaps though. We're not doing a complete overhaul and actual character. Hmm. I'm gonna assume it's gonna turn into Irumi. Yeah, we just saw we just saw Irumi for a second. Uh oh, Amiri's there. Uh oh. Open. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. How do we? Uh oh. Okay. Let's see her. Yeah. Is she into it though? Frilly and fluffy on Irumi. Are you into it though? Confront him. I can explain. I can explain. I can explain. <laughs> Yeah, we're just training magic. Yes, yes, yes. You just happen to walk in on us when we... Rings don't talk. Does she know about the gluttons? We're delusional. <laughs> yeah, we're going a little bit crazy. Sorry. Uh, this, I mean, if you're in Amiri's perspective and you walk in and, and Yuma just talking to this, like this ring that's not actually there and he's wearing all these different dressings, cross-dressing, I think that's a logical, you know, re reaction. You're back. Why'd you go hiding? I guess we're not. We shouldn't let other people know about this. Yeah, you went hit conveniently after setting us up. Ali is pretty friendly so far, though. You know, seems like a friend. Unless he is. We're being led to. Uh, we're getting baited? I don't know. Maybe he's not an actual good person? Yeah, she seems a little bit disgusted about it, if anything. I thought that she might be into it, of Iruma wearing frilly and fluffy things, but she seemed very upset and, like, kind of, like, shocked that Iruma's actually going crazy. I mean, if you saw him talking to an inanimate object and started dressing like that out of nowhere, maybe it makes sense, yeah. Gramp, is this an issue that Ali can just come out like this? No shit. But this is the gluttonous feeder ring. Hmm. Yeah, come out right now. Why are you hiding? Why can't it appear right now? Why? You just conveniently hiding again? Are we crazy? Because the only time we see Ali is when Iruma's alone. No one else can see him. No, we're getting baited. There's no way. Oh, he actually fell asleep. Eiko in Season 2 still has yet to interact with Iruma. <laughs> Sneak shots, that's kinda creepy, but I guess it's cute because it's Eiko. Oh, he's right there, hey! If only Eiko is always so far, but so close. It had a form, but it just suddenly gained intellect. I mean, they don't know everything about the Glenn Feeder Ring. This could be like a new feature that they had no idea about. Because again, it's not just a ring that just appears in everyday life. This episode. The drag? Oh, when he got dragged to Kiriwo's... He was attracted to it because the same material. Huh. That's what triggered its intelligence? I mean, so far everything has just happened to do with Kiriwo. Ever since we met him, no awareness rank 1. So the more we rank up, it's also gaining intelligence? That could be one thing. That that's definitely is something different about it, that we being continuously rank up. And if we rank up more, he's gonna change even more? The ranking system has an effect on the gluttonous feeder ring. Huh? I mean, that's an interesting hypothesis, yeah. Seems most likely. If he keeps changing as he keeps changing, climbing the ranks. You should grow even more. So, did he rank up? And then he got woken up at the post credit scene in the season finale? And then somehow they merged? Uh, I don't know. Counter means we just basically got baited this entire episode of me expecting what that evil Iruma was in season 1 finale. Come on! 
but definitely something has to do with the two. So that means there was a big time skip in the season finale between like the episode ending and the post credit scene. Sullivan really has no idea about it. Not even a guess. Or maybe this is when we go to bed and then he wakes up. Okay. And then when we wake up, did we change? Okay, let's see. Let's see. No, we're still the same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ameri is still. She's still shocked. I don't think. I, how are we going to save that situation? If only Ali would come out and talk to Ameri. Ali does, doesn't seem to talk to anybody, though. All right, episode two. Let's go. This is like a little bit of a flashback we had of him discovering his dream. What's your goals and ambitions? <laughs> Sailor Moon transformation! <laughs> to be a top dev doll here! Wait, this is probably Amelie's dream or something. <laughs> She's so upset with it! She just can't... She's having like night terrors. Three nights in a row she's been having this nightmare. Amelie's decision. Decision to cope with reality that uh, Iruma maybe just wants to wear fluffy frilly dresses. She she is so... Her mood is just so down. Hmm? Yes. It is Iruma. Yes. He's so protective of her. Yes, there's some uh, relationship problems going on. I will never give you up! I will never approve of him! She's gonna walk into Iruma now, right? Has to walk into Iruma right now. Very particular interest. <laughs> oh. You told father. You were talking about love and relationships in front of him. What would you think he would think? Oh, this is a good question. Amiri really hasn't thought this through. He's not your junior. What is he? Are you... And you go on dates? Are you a love interest? Or... What are you guys? Just friends? True, it did start out with that. Like that. And then just conveniently turn into dates. And... Oh. A realization that... Yes, he's a great person, but now all of a sudden the fluffy frilly dresses has tripped you up. Oh no, If she, and when she tries talking to him, I bet it's gonna be in some kind of situation where it's more misunderstanding. Here we go. Kerori. Oh no, it's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again. As soon as he puts it, as soon as he puts it on, Amity's gonna show up and she's gonna be like, What is going on? Amity's gonna show up, dude. Oh no, this timing, this timing, man. Alright, it's on. It's on. Oh, wait, is he going to get on top of her? Oh, this is even worse. This is even worse. Oh, no. He's wearing the dress and he's on top of Kerori. Amiri, where are you at? Around the corner. Oh, no. How are we going to explain this? It's even worse. It's not even by himself. He's on top of her. How could you? You had to resort to, like, sexual assault. Kerori. Bring loot. That silence is a little bit different compared to what uh, Kalego says. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is their chance to clear our name, though. Uh, yeah, your hobbies, you can, if you like cross-dressing, you enjoy it all you want, but... What about the battlers? You already ate it. You already ate it. What was it? Are you... Okay, I get it. I get it. Who is it? Oh? I mean, she did call them over, but they're getting, like, apprehended. Jesus. What is going on with that club? Are we... At least one third year. Or at least three Dalit rank members. Therefore, Iruma had to rank up to Dalit. And while he ranked up, again, if the theory is true of how Ali changes depending on the rank, right? For this club to be not, you know, uh, disbanded. He needs to rank up. Ali changes... And then evil edgy Iruma appears because of the transformation. I'm not sure how that happens, but that seems like what we're getting to. So it's going to take quite a while for, you know, him to, 
to go through whatever needs to happen to rank up. He's so versatile, he would join the new magic battler. Okay. Are we really getting disbanded like this? Where would Clara go? Imagine if Clara goes to the seduction club. What, what, is it this? No, it's the video game battle. Okay, this is nice. <laughs> Could you imagine if they put her in the seduction class? <laughs> Where will Iruma be placed? You can join me. The student council. I'm down. This is what I wanted from the beginning for Iruma to join Amity. Whip you back into shape. <laughs> so that you will no longer wear fluffy and... <laughs> fluffy and... <laughs> Really th He's standing out even more. Oh my god. Yo! On top of the student council execs and Iruma. Does he have his ponytail right now? His hair? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Does he have his ponytail right now? It looks pretty cool with the new jacket. Oh, we're living in dorms now. We can't go back home anymore? We're just... Huh? Jesus, this is like a military boot camp, man. So he does ties her up. Okay, you know, ponytail Yuma means like it's serious time, but you gotta look professional. Uh, we are part of the student council. Shows that. This is this military boot camp. Uh, this is too much work. I don't like this. But at this rate, we will probably rank up to Dalek, and if we do that, then the transformation between. Kind Yuruma to evil Yuruma might happen. <laughs> Why are you here? Kaleko! <laughs> Kaleko, damn it, this kid's rising up in the ranks again. Eiko! Eiko, say something to him! Yeah. Uh, she's such a. She's fangirling so hard, but this is a better outcome than like her getting cucked by like Amity or like other people. At least like she's like rooting for them. Just Yuruma isn't like a main love interest. She's just like. It's like it's her idol. Must never. Oh! What the? What, did he do something wrong? <laughs> this just got sniped out of nowhere. <laughs> Why did you kick him in the head? <laughs> did he do something? Oh. Right, Evil Psych, we talked about this in the... The Dem Doll explanation. We need to like relieve stress or people turn evil. This is another thing. So does Iruma also have an evil cycle? Does that is that why he turned into that evil form rather than you know something along with him ranking up and also Ali also changing as he ranks up? Maybe it's a combination. But the evil cycle is like a very important mechanic that was briefly explained in the Dem Doll arc, and then I was like, this seems really important. You are pretty cool, Amity. Oh, is you overhearing? Yeah, he's fitting in. He is fitting in quite well. How long until Iruma's evil cycle is full gauge or... Wait, what is this? Oh, like... This seems like really important flashbacks that we should be seeing, but... Just getting panels. All of those bad flashbacks seem pretty important. Announcements. Oh? Yeah, there's never heard the announcement voice like that before. Ominous. Something's happening. Maybe Amity Stalker is behind this. It looks like him. Yes, it is Amity Stalker. So, who could it be? Probably someone we've never met before. Something bad's about to happen to Amity. Just let it slide into the stick. Oh, I know you. How many spins did she just do? She did like a 720. She's going all squee. But we're about to change. I th something's about to happen. This is obviously a trap. This is the stalker, I'm, I'm assuming. Huh? Uh, passed out? This is pretty bad, right? Like, I feel like we should be doing something about this, but who, who else knows right now? Nobody. Guys, maybe you should go there. Guys, maybe you should go there. Huh? No, she got... You announced her, but it wasn't you. And the voice is definitely weird. Something is going on with Amity. Is she okay? Could she really be in danger? 
But she's the reliable Amity. Okay, no, she's just there. She doesn't look any different. What did that little spray of perfume thing... Her ears are like more droopy. Her ears are definitely more droopy. Huh? Oh. This is a much more docile Amity. Don't you think so? Wait, 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 wait. Why are you all moe? Like, she turns super cute. Huh? Huh? What's with the ears flat? Huh? Just more, more confusion, more confusion. And that's the episode. Just when I thought that we would get into why Iruma seemed to have changed in the season finale, we're kind of just steering off of that. <laughs> and we're getting Amity. That's also changed now. So I guess the stalker, whatever he sprayed, made her more like this, more soft, cute, uwu. Maybe <laughs> he's tired of seeing like the strong, brave Amity, so he wanted to see like a more submissive, docile, feminine Amity. That, that's an entire point. Honestly, <laughs> this probably does wonders for like her popularity in the series. <laughs> if she's like the, the, the pillar of Babylon, the cold, the strong Amity suddenly like dissolves and like melts into this like ooh, soft one, I'm sure everybody's gonna love this regardless. I'm just glad that she's not hurt. It seems like there's no actual main big damage. She just changed the personality, but is this permanent or not? We'll see. Maybe this is permanent, but then she learns to become strong again. I don't know, but 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 but, 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 but what about Iruma? What about the evil Iruma that we saw in end of season one, dude? They're really they're really taking their time with explaining what happened. But the main theory so far is, from my guess is. Two, two options, right? Maybe it's a combination of the two, but the first thing is obviously, as you rank up, the main hypothesis is that Ali changes as we've been ranking up. Might not be necessarily true. It could be just like a, like, a, what's it called? Causation, correlation does not equal causation, but as we've been ranking up, he did seem to gain intelligence. So maybe that's what's happening. And then I guess that maybe after we level up, because I thought that we're going to save the magic apparatus, Apparently not, because everybody's in their separate clubs now. But if we have three people of Dalek rank, right? Asas is already there. Clara and Iduma just need to rank up once more. Then they could go back to Magi app, but I'm not sure about how that's going to happen. Anyways, regardless, if we do rank up, then I thought, oh, he's going to change form again. And this time, <laughs> he would take on the form of the evil Iduma. I thought that maybe, maybe maybe they would, like, combine. I thought in the first episode, maybe, you know, the costume... <laughs> that, that um using, like, the magic spell on, you know on Ali would change him to that, but no, we got completely baited every time. So it's either either the effects of ranking up or the evil cycle that was explained by the Demdoll arc, right? Demons have, you know, there's like a gauge of like an evil and a good meter. As more like the evil gauge field fills up, then they would do more demon-like things. So we need to have like stress relief. That's why I'm gonna just kick that guy <laughs> in the cafeteria when his gauge was going up. But that was specifically mentioned to remind us that, you know, that mechanic is a thing. So then I'm like, wait, Iruma is not really a demon. He's a human. I guess maybe he could have his own evil gauge. And I thought that maybe if that goes all the way up, then it turns into evil Iruma. I don't know. I'm just, it, it's, I'm just giving it like a name for evil Iruma because he looks more like, you know, evil and edgy and what we saw in season finale. But it's either those two options or a combination or I'm just getting completely baited and I have no fucking clue what's going on. But season two has been very interesting so far. I, they're not telling us anything. They're just throwing more questions at us. But we'll have to watch more episodes to find out. But hey, if you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube. I'll go push out my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.